Ann Feldman here from the TT for T team, and today we're going to talk about app smashing with three amazing apps Google Earth, Sketch, and Telegami. How do we do this? What do we do to get started? Well, let me tell you. First, we're going to start by going to Google Earth. And in Google Earth, you can go anywhere you would like. So your adventure can start and take you to a place you've recently traveled, a place you'd like to go. Or perhaps you want to look at amazing landforms that are all around the world. So for example, we could start today and take off and go find Notre Dame in France. So Notre Dame is located in Paris. And let's see if we can fly here to Paris, France and see if we can zoom in on Notre Dame. As you get close, you'll see the pin that's located there. And then just simply using two fingers, you can use two fingers and start zooming on in to take a closer look at the place that you've selected. So now as I move around, you can really take a look at the architecture of the building. Now, to even go a step farther, notice the orange peg that's up in the corner. You can just go ahead and grab that peg and drag it, and notice as you drag, you start to see blue lines. Those are all places that are down on ground level that where you drop your peg, you'll have that perspective on that particular item. So we can drop the peg and then we can take a look at now from the ground level what we're looking at and then spin around and get a different perspective on the monument. And now once you're done with this view, just simply go to exit street view to go back out and then you can move yourself around and drop your peg maybe in a different location and then again take another look from a different location of that same building. So now you can look at some of the stained glass or whatever you'd like to see. And so now what you need really is just to capture that with a screenshot which is simply holding into that top button and your home button at the same time on your iPad and you'll see that little flash which means the picture was taken. So once you have an image we can go on to step two of app smashing. So I'm going to go ahead and close out now of Google Earth and now we're going to head into Sketch. Sketch is an awesome little app that lets you annotate over the top of any kind of an image. So here I am in Sketch. I'm going to grab that image from my camera roll and there it is. And now you can use the tools in Sketch to label that up. So if you notice on the right hand side there's an arrow and simply looking under that arrow you'll find the A which is the text tool. So you can label that map then by putting your text box anywhere on the screen and then you can label what that particular item happens to be. Then to add a little bit more excitement here you can make that bigger by simply um, selecting it and then grabbing the blue dot in the corner so you can stretch the name and then down in the left hand corner there's a variety of colors that you can choose from. So you can simply just choose the color that you love and you know a lot of times talk about what colors might show up if you were using this to project it or if you were you know maybe um, putting that into a document. So just things that are readable so you can discuss those points too but you want to just make some great color choices and then you're all set. Now a couple other things to note also over here you can grab the tool that has the square and then if you notice then you get the choice to line, circle, kind of ovals and squares so you can use that tool like if you wanted to really highlight something like maybe I want to circle um, this really beautiful stained glass window. So you can just grab that tool and circle items. Now, if you accidentally draw something you don't want, all you have to do is select the item and notice delete appears at the bottom of your screen. And then you can choose delete. So again, that's just selecting that item and then that delete magically appears and then you can select delete. Now you can explore these other tools as well. If you grab the pen feature, notice that you have a pen and you also have a highlighter. So again, if you grab that highlighter, you have all these different colors to select from so you could also highlight certain things that you would like people to take a look at. Or you can draw on your screen. 
Also, the arrows are fa fantastic, and you can grab an arrow, and you can draw and point to, like, the flying buttresses that are here on the building. Um, you can also use this fun little labeler here. The kids kind of love this, where you can grab a smiley face, and wherever you put your um, finger is where that will appear. And if you select it again, you'll get the little A, and you can use it to label um, the item. So you can historically look at things and just um, label things. So once you have that completed, then in the upper right corner, there is the square with the arrow, and outside of most apps, that's the way to share. So you share that out, and where you're sharing it to actually is just saving image, and that will go then into your photos so we can work with it in yet another app. So save image, we'll save that out to your photos. Our last app today is going into Telegami, and then we're gonna use Telegami to talk about that particular item. So I'm going into Telegami now. Telegami is a very fun app. You can make a 30 second Gami video and very easily then put those together in even another app, iMovie. But today our fun ends here with the Gamis. We're gonna just go to create where the first thing you do is you have your character. And in your character, you can go ahead and choose your gender. You can choose skin color. You can choose eye color, you can choose a head, you can make yourself a bobble head, whatever you like. Grab some hair, pick a color for your hair, choose some clothing and colors for clothing. Um, and you can even choose some fun um, shoes if you like. So you can just have lots of fun kind of customizing your avatar. And given your avatar an emotion, and I like to be happy, so I'm going to choose happy. And then after that, you can go in here and choose to move it around. If you go back to character, you can take one finger and you can move your character forward and back and also take one finger and just kind of move it side to side and it will twist your character side to side. So just so you know, that's how you can kind of navigate that and that's with the character. Okay. By selecting character again, you'll be able to record. Now before you record, You'll want to maybe shrink your character so you can use two fingers and pinch together. And you can also drag your character wherever you would like on your screen. Now we would also like to put in that background that you picked. So let's go to background and go out to library. And there we should find your camera roll. And in your camera roll, that wonderful picture that you were just working with. Now again, once you have your background in place, you go back to character, you can move that character around, and then now we are set to record. Okay, to record, you're simply going to tap on the record, and then record. And now as you talk, your GAMI will be recorded, and when you're done, you stop recording. If you happen to have made a mistake, all you have to do is press on record, and record it again. Now, once you're completed and you love your GAMI, you go to share. And there are lots of ways that you can share this, but if you click on save, that will send your GAMI back to your photos. And once it's in your photos, it's just a video file that you can share via email. You can also upload to YouTube, or you can even pop it into iMovie and edit some more. In our case, you've got your video there in your photos, and now you can just upload that to YouTube or you can email that out. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to app smash today with some amazing apps of Google Earth, Skitch, and Telegami. Thanks for watching TT for Teeth.